Hi, I'm David and I'm a security research engineer at Pentestools.com. For the past few months, we've worked on a special project for the offensive security community, a benchmark of the most used network vulnerability scanners in the industry. Here's a quick walkthrough on why we did this benchmark, what results we got, and how you can validate it independently. There's also a white paper you can download from the description below, which includes access to all the results behind this benchmark. Let's get right into it. In January 2024, we put the following network scanners to the test. Nessus Professional, NMAP Vulnerability Scripts, Nuclei, the Pentestools.com network scanner, OpenVAS, Qualys, and Rapid7 Nexpose. We did this because we know how time-consuming it is to try to compare tools using publicly available information that's usually incomplete and scattered. We've experienced this firsthand. First, as tool users, when we worked as penetration testers, and then as tool makers while building the network tools on pentestools.com. So this benchmark is a resource that responds to this need. Of course, it was also a rich learning experience for our team. Doing this benchmark was an opportunity for us to understand where our network scanner sits among its alternatives. Let's see how it all came together. First, we chose both open source and commercial scanners to properly reflect the tool mix that most security teams use. Next, we decided to focus exclusively on remote checks. We did this because high-risk vulnerabilities, which an external attacker can exploit remotely, are particularly attractive targets. So remote detection offers a realistic assessment of the attack surface and simulates an attacker's approach. You can find out how we defined and measured these from the white paper you can download using the link in the description. In December 2023, we spread 167 distinct vulnerable environments from Vulhub across 10 virtual machines deployed using Vulture. This deployment provided an unbiased, replicable and streamlined playground to test all the selected scanners. Only 128 of the 167 vulnerable environments were remotely detectable. The rest required specific conditions such as user interaction and authentication credentials. We ran each scanner with the default settings and only modified the port range to full to make sure all the exposed services had the chance to be discovered. When looking at the numbers, keep in mind that the number of identified vulnerabilities doesn't automatically certify the quality of a vulnerability scanner's performance. The vulnerabilities in this analysis are a very small subset of the coverage that each vulnerability scanner is capable of. Factors such as user-friendliness, the ability to integrate with other systems, or the quality of support services can be just as relevant for your organization. Unfortunately, there's no impartial way to compare these aspects. Let's break down the results. The benchmark shows a similar level of detection availability among the major commercial key players, except for Nexpos, where we couldn't differentiate between local and remote checks in their vulnerability database. This is relevant in the context of commercial vulnerability scanning solutions, which state they have detections for the majority of vulnerabilities in testing environments. There's a notable difference between the detection availability and the actual accuracy of certain tools. We saw the biggest difference in Nessus, Following this, both Qualys and Nuclei show lower variance with their actual detection rates being about 25% lower than what their vulnerability database suggests. There's also a subtle shift between the overall and remotely detectable classifications. For all templates, Qualys secures the second position with Nuclei following in third. However, when focusing solely on vulnerabilities which can be detected remotely, Nuclei moves up to second place, pushing Qualys down to third. This indicates Nuclei has a slightly broader scope in terms of detection for vulnerabilities that can be remotely detected. If you want to check the numbers in more detail or try to replicate the results yourself, get the white paper from the link in the description. Until the next time, keep on hacking!